What's up, people? What's up, everybody? Hey, you're here with John, John, and Angelo, the Belly Eggs Bangers. Bang into your podcast airwaves <laughs> and, and YouTube and Instagram. Yeah, follow us. Follow us, guys. We appreciate it. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Yeah. What's up, man? What's up? How was your week, bro? Week has been awesome. You know us over here spreading all kind of joy across the world. Yeah. You know, That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> bro. Hey, hey, you know what I watched recently? I was watching the video of We Are the World. <laughs> with Michael Jackson? Yeah, with Michael Jackson, with everybody. <laughs> that was okay. interesting. Watching it now as an adult. Because well, when did that come out? Like 94? No, like. 92? 88. 88, right? I don't know. I just made that up. It's out there. Because I remember, like, like I remember that, like, what? In second grade? Cheers, man. Hey, cheers, guys. Drink responsibly. Please drink responsibly. But yeah, that's like an old school like it's thing, man. So old. Hey, you know what? Watching. Are you about to pull that up? I am about to pull it up. I think we can play like 15 seconds of it. Can we? Yeah. You know what? It, it just so crazy just watching them as an adult. Because if now, you look, wow, now oh. nothing I thought. <laughs> I know. Is it, is it even pop up? There, oh, there it, is. it is. USA for Africa. Oh, it's for Africa. Yeah. Oh, we wouldn't have to hear the, the ad, but... Let's uh, put this on mute real quick. <laughs> That's crazy. When did you hear that? You're just like... Nah, I was just going through all kind of old music. Sometimes I just sit there yeah. and listen to old, old music, you know, and watch the videos. Mm -hmm. It's different now. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like, we are the world nowadays and everybody eats our ass. <laughs> it's a normal thing. <laughs> it's a normal thing. MRSA. Just like shaking hands. <laughs> I'm not wearing it... masks, bro. Oh, yeah, you're ready to go. You playing right now? Yeah, I'm gonna, um... Look at all the celebs, bro. I need yeah. that. I had a... There's a... There's something on here that you could... There it is. Yeah. Oh, Lionel Richie. He still looks the same. He was a vampire. Dude. <laughs> Stevie! Stevie. Is he... Stevie's still alive, right? Is yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's put it on mute while it plays. Yeah. Dude, that's old school. There's man. like Bruce Springsteen. They got uh, Kenny Rogers. Right. Uh, Cindy Lauper. Bro. Bro. It's yeah. so crazy to watch it. And these dudes are like 50 years old right here already. 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 That's insane. What year did it come out? That's what we really want to know. Yeah. Anyway, we'll look it up later. That's insane, man. Yeah. What brought that up? I don't know. I just, I just like, you know, deep diving. I hear you. Within these world events, yeah. supposedly we have a new president. Supposedly. In we'll see. We'll see what happens. You uh, see what happened with uh, Bush and uh, Gore? Gore. Yeah, man. They switched it up on everybody. Al Gore thought he was president for like, what, 30 <laughs> days until he got recalled? They cut him a deal. They're like, hey, man, just focus on the warming. Yeah. We'll pay you still. You can still be out there. You didn't win, bro. But, yeah, media totally just like enrolled Biden into being our president. I wonder if he was forced to do like the global warming thing. Like he was in it deep. Like it's like Al Gore for global warming. You, oh yeah, he was, yeah, for sure balls deep in there. I don't really care who the fucking president, I mean freaking, freaking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because both candidates, let's be honest, it's not, it's not the best. Like dude, say. there's people way better out there. Right? <laughs> Like Dwayne the Rock Johnson <laughs> or Kanye. Kanye. Kanye wants uh, a recount, bro. <laughs> Kanye wants a recount. Oh man, did you did no, you see what uh, uh, <laughs> did you see what uh, Siri did? What did it? So if you ask Siri how old the president is, uh -huh. guess who pops up? Let me see if I can do it right now. All right. Hey Siri, how old is our president? Trump is 74. Oh, they changed it. Why? So, uh, hey, what did it say? Before this, when you would ask Siri who the president was, it would, it would say Kamala. Kamala Harris, which is the vice president. So, okay. in the elect, they would say her age instead of like the actual president. Isn't that weird? I guess. Pretty good, hey, man. That's I Apple don't, for I don't you. know what he's talking about, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's man. political. It's okay. But in other news, churches, chicken. Church? Hey, you gotta bring you to church. <laughs> you scared? Go to church, hey, man. Hey, you know what I just learned recently about church? I know this is a little off, to off topic, but like, 
It's actually off topic. Uh, church. <laughs> There's a 10% fee, I guess, of what you make. Okay, so this is like oh, the uh, this is the type of like offering you're supposed to give, which kind of it, it threw it threw me off as a little kid, wondering like if we don't have shit, like why are we like I get it, I don't know you you want to support, but, but it's ten like, percent of, of not having shit, so I'll give you negative. <laughs> I'll give you you yeah. owe me, bro. <laughs> so we're both in debt. <laughs> you owe me, bro, dog. Like, you owe me forty five cents right now. I, Church. I don't know what it's called. Like it's a. Devotion or whatever it's called, a ten percent of your check That's or funny. whatever you make you're that supposed to give. Funny. That's nuts, man. And then, on top of that, taxes non or taxes church is non taxable. So like whatever you give to them, they keep. Yeah. That's, That's why you see folks like Joe Joe Olstein with yeah. the freaking private jet. Man, she owns. Bro, it's a it's a crazy. Place. It's heartbreaking, man. It's it's sad of those folks kind of like taking advantage. What were you about to say about church's though? Church's oh, chicken. church's chicken, by the way. Finally. I like church's chicken. I like church's chicken. It's bomb. Low key, church's chicken with some rice <laughs> and ketchup. That's the poor man's jelly bean, baby. <laughs> Jumper. Oh, <man. laughs> Jumper. They finally released their own version of a chicken sandwich. Damn. I bet you that chicken sandwich is this big. That big. Hella greasy, hella bomb. It's churches. I like churches. I think it. I think it'll be good. You know what I liked about churches? They used to throw in that those little peppers if you wanted them. Oh yeah, but yeah. I haven't. They I'm were the only ones that threw peppers in there. I was there peppers. probably about two weeks ago. And they don't do that no more. Duh. Sad, huh? <laughs> I just shot you out, bro. <laughs> we're trying to shot churches. Unpaid out. promotion right Dude. now. Dude, they yeah. they still had their what, what is it like the three piece for one ninety nine. <laughs> That's so cheap. Yeah, it's, it's cheap. not even chicken, and it's man. It's big pieces. It's probably like there was big rabbits. There was a cut. <laughs> there was a cut on the. It wasn't the breast, but it was another piece that had a really. It was like this, like a uh, rectangle. It was like the third thigh. Like a salmon piece, oh, and it had like a big old chunk. That was like my favorite. One. <laughs> That's the frog. Yeah, <laughs> church's that frog. That was the humane. <laughs> <laughs> church's cat, fried cat. Man, I think it's a, a gravy too. I had a homie growing up. And this fool is a sauce dude. Like sauce if we went, if we went to church's chicken, he would order a whole thing of gravy, like the largest gravy, because he had to dip everything of Family style gravy. Oh man, this guy was a dipper. Ranch, crazy guy would ranch. Like he would just. Because what we used to do back in the day, because uh, right there on Bud Long and Redondo. Yo. Yeah, was the Church's Chicken. Yo. And the 7 Eleven. Mm -hmm. We would get Church's Chicken and 7 Eleven. With 7 Eleven, we would get the nachos. You, oh, what? Yeah, but, get the, go but, ahead. But the way we figured it out was I told him, I was like, hey, don't open the bag of chips. Remember, they started coming in bags, the chips. Yeah, yeah. Right? Keep the chips separate, fill that whole tray with cheese, cheese. and meat. Bro. I'm surprised we've never met when we were younger, man. <laughs> we would have been way fatter. Yeah. <laughs> we would have been dead by now. <laughs> Low key, man. Heart would have been all bad. Yeah, man. That's that's the ticket. That's the move. If you guys are at 7 Eleven, don't cheat yourself. Don't cheat yourself. Treat, Treat yourself. yourself. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Cheers to that. <laughs> Treat yourself, son. We just touch finger. Yeah, we don't even <laughs> click around here anymore. <laughs> man, why is your finger so warm, dude? Bro, I've been drinking, man. I've yeah. been drinking. Whoa. I've been drinking. <laughs> drinking. Bro, what? You know how certain liquors have you feeling some type of way? Yeah. Like, for me, vodka, tequila gets me, like, energized. Almost. Like, hyped? Hyped as, hyped okay. as hell. Okay. Hennessy, like, dark alcohol, Hennessy and so makes me, like, a little, like... Horny, where I get like the inhibitions just flow, and you start just texting old flames, like <laughs> text with my ex. Bro, Hennessy makes you do bad decisions. Well, they all make you do bad decisions. I love Hennessy. I love the way Hennessy makes you feel. It makes you assertive. I feel suave. Yeah, hey, Hennessy is smooth, player. <laughs> I feel you know, so those, suave. Those are from Hennessey. the grapes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know they make Hennessy into wine first, and then they. 
They make it Tennessee. Yeah, right. The, the, the French way. The, the Cavalcade. Fr- France way. France way. Did you see that meme recently where the guy just goes up to the reporter and is like, oh, 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 oh the, I like croissant. The black dude. <laughs> yeah, the black dude in America. Like, dude. The interview was all about uh, America's uh, presidential <laughs> debate or presidential winner. And a topless black dude. <laughs> a topless black dude, American, was like. They're in France too, right? Oh, yeah. They're yeah. In I love France. Oh, I love France. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Croissant, 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 this, croissant. This. It was pretty funny though. Oh man, the reporter had a good time. Like even though they'd heard it before, but when someone delivers it, delivers it the way he did, yeah. it's pretty free. It's pretty funny. Bro, and like France already hates us. <laughs> they they hate Americans they, so they much. They call their dude. potatoes French. <laughs> oh, they, yeah. they 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 despise was, our freedom fries. What do you think about my uh, accent right there, bro? Go do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Do it again. Okay. Come Man, on. Moving on. Come on. French accent in three. I don't even two, know what I did. One. Anyway, so today. Uh, potato. <laughs> potatoes. French potatoes. potatoes. <laughs> oui. Oh man. But yeah, good old, good old alcohol. Like again, vodka, tequila. I can like, I can kind of like stay up all night and like party with it. Whereas, like, Hennessy, I'll sneak off somewhere and <laughs> do some demonic, demonic crap on the side. Not demonic, I love, I love but Hennessy, man. Yeah. Hennessy's, like, always, I'll always love it because it's been in my life. <laughs> it's been with me I'm burping through there. thick and thin. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Hennessy, tequila's cool, too. Uh, I don't like drinking vodka because I treat it like water. It... Wait, because you don't, it's not something you enjoy the taste of, so it's like you down it and you go. Yeah. You're always downing it and you go. So it's like you're always. Ants, 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 ants. <laughs> I'm trying to see like what, like. I've been drinking wine lately. Right? <laughs> and it gets you that first yeah. initial, like, nice and smooth, like, especially after a long shift. And you just, while you're eating with some steaks, you know what I'm saying? Some red meat and some, some red wine. Mm. <laughs> no, with that wap. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. That wine and... Pizza? Pizza. <laughs> yeah, that stuff right there. And after you just drink some wine, you're cool and chilling. But that fades away really quick. So I like wine after I get really messed up throughout the night and then I'm just chilling with wine. Yeah. Well, I don't, I'm, I'm so... Here's a world <laughs> I'm slowly starting to get into wine. Like, I've always liked, what is it, Cabernet? Yeah, Cab- I'm a Cab guy. Um, I'm more of a red guy, for sure. Uh, white wine, so-so. I'm open to it on that, though. Yeah, like, um, I know better now not to mix. I always feel messed up off wine, though. I never. Like, I always, like, not necessarily, like, drunk off wine, but the, I don't know, the calm down or, like, the morning after. I feel worse drinking wine than I do whiskey. For some reason, I think with wine too, I it usually drink happens fast. with guys that like men. <laughs> it happens, man. You never know. We're we're uh, we're drinking wine with uh, our homegirls, and like they do a thing where they drink it with straws so they don't get wine on the lips. Oh. I was like, okay, whatever. I'll, I'll uh, monkey see, monkey do. So I started drinking wine with a straw too, but then I end up drinking mine hella fast. Yeah, just like a slurpee. Bro, so like I'm. I'm done with like three glasses while they're still on the first one, and I'm just refilling mine, refilling mine. There's a thing with uh, alcohol, I believe you should, as a man, there's a rule. Do not drink your liquor with a, through a straw. Period. That's just my rule. Is it wine or liquor, though? Liquor. Anything with alcoholic beverage. Okay. Yeah. But wine, the reason I'm starting to get into wine, I watch this Russian guy... And he just like he pour, him and his homies just pour a wine glass, and before everything, they down the glass. They don't play around; like they're down. No, so they, they, yeah, they down. And then right? they like cook, shot. like they roast all kind of things, whole ostriches. Like these oh. guys are nuts. Like I, I just barely started watching them. Like I barely caught on to them, but they've been around for maybe like two years or whatever. They're the folks that straight up make the stove and like all that right there and then in the video. No, 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 it's not that guy. It's not that guy, it's another guy. It's another Russian guy and he always shows his family and kids and his kids do something crazy that I would be like, hey, get out of here, right? Little 
They need to be more like this guy. He's like, okay, here, go. Enjoy. Okay. I, I need to be more like that. That's something I realized. That Not so tight roped? Yeah, I'm very, uh, I'm very ticking time bomb ish. I, I know. <laughs> you know. I can be. I can be. There's something that I'm so patient with, though, you know, like, I'm not. Just now with friends. Just yeah, <laughs> now with friends. Not with just, like, humans. <laughs> In general. Like, the dog just ate everything. Okay, you're cute. <laughs> I, I get you, I get you, I get you. There's, like, okay, on those, like, food, cooking, and eating shows, ones that irritate me the most lately have been, like, the, uh, the Asian folks. Well, I'd probably say, like, the Chinese dudes. Because they're, they don't have, I don't know, it's a, it's a type of, like, speaking etiquette, mm -hmm. where while they're cooking, they're just like, They're aggressive. They're hella aggressive. Yeah. <laughs> like, it, it's so off-putting. So I'll, I'll watch them cook, but I'll watch it, like, on mute, and just, like, because you don't, yeah. It's so aggressive as hell, man. <laughs> it sells. I guess so, it, it works. It sells, man. What guy that's not aggressive? Who's that? It's the counting guy. 21, 22, 23. Hey, his counts are rough. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that should be our next president. Yeah, he, he's done. <laughs> oh, Was man. Was his name Soy Viet? Yeah, Soy Viet. Yeah, it's uh, pimping, man. Another thing that happened recently is it was unfortunately the final Jeopardy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. R.I.P. to a legend. Yeah, Mr. Trebek. Mr. Alex Trebek, rest in peace, man. Finally succumbed to pancreatic cancer. How are you gonna replace this dude? You can't, dude. I don't you know how they can. They should. Like they done, like uh, they replaced like uh, Family Feud with Steve, Steve Harvey. Harvey. Who was the guy before that? Uh, I forget. Wasn't Drew Carey or Louis Anderson was on there, right? Oh, Louis maybe Louis Anderson. Did. No, he, he died probably. Yeah. But uh, I think he's. Well, I don't know. He's like cross-dressing on another show. Is he? Yeah, with. Uh, oh man. Uh, What's his name? Not Milanakis. Life of Louis. That was a good cook. That was a good cartoon. Yeah, I like that show. Remember with this goldfish pepper? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I feed him cake, hamburger. <laughs> remember this? Pepper. That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> that was a cartoon show, man. Life of Louis. Um, another one is. Um... No, sorry no. guys, sorry guys, I just got bit. I just got bit. You just got bit? Yeah, I see how I had to like change it up because I forgot what I was about to say. <laughs> moment of silence uh, here. Moment of silence for Alex Trebek and whoever did yeah. Angelo. But yeah, I, he can't be replaced, dude. They yeah, should... he can't be. Oh, um, what other? Oh, um, The Price is Right. Price is Right. Wayne That's Brady. Drew, Cra Drew Crazy. Drew Carey. Oh, it's not Wayne Brady. It's Drew Carey. <laughs> Drew Crazy. The other, the other white guy. <laughs> yeah, he did it. He's doing Price, Price is Right now. I don't know, man. Like, there's. But they, they wear like costumes in that show now. In uh, Price is Right, all the time. The audience. Yeah, that's kind of weird. I guess. Right. It's 2020. We're all. <laughs> We're all costume up. Yeah. Man, could you? How would you? How would you handle like fame like that, being that like popular? But remember, they're just like, there's different, there's like grades, you know. That's right. That's true. You know, like The Rock, I would say grade A, Shaquille O'Neal, grade A. Everyone knows you, Kobe Bryant, Matt, uh, Michael Jordan. Especially if they know you like out of the country. Out of the country, if they know you over there, you know, then you're like that's crazy fame. Because there's popular people here, but then there's like B class, C class. I'm cool with being like in a D class. I like, I, I can dig it. We're not F class, you know what I'm saying? We're just D class. <laughs> D class. That's what we're trying to be, guys. And with all your help, that's what we're trying to get. Like man. and subscribe. So, yeah, like and subscribe on Spotify, yeah. YouTube, Instagram, Anchor, all of your podcast media outlets out there. <laughs> Stay tuned. To Stay our, tuned. Our, our commercial. <laughs> Wait, no how's it going? From our yeah, sponsor. now? <laughs> what did you say about it? TV Land? Oh. Hello out there in TV Land. <laughs> hey, but uh, stay tuned. What was it? What did you say? Uh, I don't know. Uh, and a word from our sponsor. And a word from... What's up, people? What's Round two. Up, people? Welcome back. Welcome back. Second part. Hope you enjoyed our sponsors earlier. Yeah. Uh, to live and die in LA. 
to live and die in LA. It's no place to be. Shout out to Tupac. Hey, rest in peace, Dad. Rest in peace. So for those that are listening to us on podcast, <laughs> podcast lab. We have a little Tupac Frank. We have a little Tupac Frank in the back of us. Pod. It's a Tupac, Tupac. Ch-ch-ch. <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> Hey, two of has, has some gangster, yeah. gangster songs, dude. Yeah, What's your favorite Tupac song? There's some hits. Probably Hit Him Up. Because that's probably the most, like, amped up, like, one. Or, you know what? That one's good. Uh, he has a catalog. What am I saying? He has a catalog. Dude, he has so many songs. Dear Mama. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get it on to like that. It isn't wrong to like that. <laughs> They're, they're like fun too. Yeah. It's not like uh, relatable. They're, just, they're like fun. And he's not even pure well, LA ish. No. He came really? out here and was like, I love this place. <laughs> but he was like, He adopted LA. LA. Yeah. He, uh, from New York. Right? To LA, to the Bay. To the Bay. Yeah. My favorite, uh, E40 says my favorite uh, rappers are E40 and Pac. Ooh. Yeah. It, it's for a reason. It's, it's for, for a reason, reason man. We're trying to play a little something for him? I don't know. I don't want to. I'm just going to put it on randomly so they can hear it in the background. But Okay. Yeah. But Tupac, man. Legend. Legend. Rest Legend. Peace, Legend. R.I.P. Let's see what song we're listening to now. What is it? He's probably talking. <laughs> you fat motherfucker. <laughs> what is that? All right. So he says he's smashing all of them. Yeah, all the, all yeah. the girls and all them. It's a remix. It is a remix. Yeah, I'm gonna change it. I don't like remixes. Yeah, that, I was like, why well, haven't heard that? <laughs> I know yeah. the lyrics. But yeah. Anyway. So there's a lot. There's a lot. Shout out to Tupac. So that's what we're uh, displaying here. Yeah. Let's know what you guys think. So you're just not color. looking at just two bald dudes. <laughs> at three bald dudes. Three <laughs> bald dudes. <laughs> One with a nose ring. <laughs> oh, there you go. Ugh. It's because of him I'm wearing, I used to wear Tim's a lot. Yeah. And hey, baggy jeans. I had an ex-girlfriend that was so crazy. She cut my Timberlands oh my in God. half, bro. <laughs> Bare hands. <laughs> what her teeth. <laughs> Dang. How the hell did she do that? Well, if you, you think about, say about the crazy ones. Right? It's like, dude, you are... Uh... It's crazy. Yeah, he's <laughs> crazy. crazy. Oh man, good old Tupac. Yeah, Tupac's cool. Damn. So what's the rules of like playing music by we're like? I think you're allowed 15 second clips. Oh. Uh, and that, that's YouTube rules. I don't know what it is for for podcasting. Podcasting. That was less. I'm trying to keep it kosher around. Yeah. yeah. We trying to yeah. Kobe. Hey, people, Yeah, man. I think with podcasting, you can you're allowed to play a little bit longer, but. Yeah, we're, we're, like you said, we're gonna keep it kosher. You know. You know, we gotta make know. that money for those Xbox and Playstations around here. Exactly, right? You hey, got the, uh, they released recently uh, pre orders. Everyone's buying them. You know, they're gonna be scal- scalping out there right now. Xbox? Yes. You know, mothers that are desperate or somebody trying to impress oh, their child right. or girlfriend trying to impress their dudes. Or do try to impress their dudes. So I was happy when I got my Nintendo 64. What I, was your first system? My well, okay. So I had a lot. Of, I'm the youngest in my family, so I had a lot of hand me downs, if you will. My first system was probably Atari. Whoa! With shit. The, uh, the the weird ass joystick? long joystick yeah. thing. Was, is that is that the motion of it? That's not his first joystick, <laughs> dude. <laughs> I had my first joystick since I was born. But uh, that was my first system, and then it was Sega. I was a big Sega guy. <laughs> you skipped over Nintendo? Yeah, I skipped over Nintendo because... That was my first system, uh, Nintendo. Reg- the Regular original, right? The original Nintendo. You gotta put that shit in your shirt. Right? Pull it, pull it out. Yeah. Even though the directions specifically told you not to blow in the car. Yeah, we're like, we're not fucking I don't care. I mean... I don't care. I'm miss gonna- you! We know what we're doing. Yeah, we were pro gamers, dude. Yeah, so it was Atari, Sega, uh, Sega when it came out with the 16-bit. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, 16-bit, yeah. And then it was Super Nintendo, 
And then long time after that was PlayStation. regular PlayStation. PlayStation was revolutionary. That was great. Right, the CDs. I want to say uh, to me, just remembering things. Okay, you have Nintendo coming out. That was like big for me. And then it went into Sega, and then they had like fighting games on Sega. Yeah. And then it became like, have you ever had Sega Channel? No. I didn't either, but my neighbor did. <laughs> and you had every game on your Time Warner. Oh dang! Yeah, what was it? What was it called? Paragon cable back in wow. the day. Yeah. So That's you, what's up. we would get all those, and then we would go to uh, the next thing was after that, PlayStation for sh Oh, my bad. N sixty four. Well, uh, I didn't get a N sixty four until after the PlayStation. Is that how it went? Because I, I remember N sixty four was like the first three D because they had that three D Mario. Mario. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So did they come after PlayStation? It, was, it had been because I remember uh, when I first got PlayStation. And the reason why I got PlayStation was because uh, I won it. Oh shit! Yeah, dude. How'd you win it? <laughs> I won it through. Was giving it away at that time. That was like a million dollars. I won it through a raffle from my school. Uh, and I sold so many of these pancake tickets. <laughs> he ate so many pancakes. A lot of them that was bought by me. <laughs> Your mom loves you, dude. Bro, well, uh, luckily, we I had sold so many pancake tickets, and I won the I won the first PlayStation. That's how I was able to get the PlayStation. Okay. And then uh, what was the what was the game I played there? It was a uh, Crash Bandicoot. Um, uh, Star, twisted metal. Uh, twisted metal, yeah. Bro. And from there, I don't know, it kind of like wandered Oh, off. Gran Turismo is one oh, of the like, Gran the, the greatest PlayStation games, yeah. See, the, the first, I didn't have, a, I didn't have a, I didn't play Gran Turismo till PlayStation 2. PlayStation, I want to say right here, right now, don't at me, PlayStation 2 was the greatest system ever invented. That, well, because that, I think that's like our prime. Yeah, that was like, yeah. That's when I like was. Uh, Tekken. Yeah, Teddy Eddie Gordo, you know, and Twisted Metal three or two, the one with Sweet Tooth on the cover is like, <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Axel, 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 yeah, Roadkill. Oh damn. damn, bringing it back. Man, yeah, those, uh, it was a sweet car game, and now they have that like um, soccer car game. I don't remember that. I hate, no, it's right now. It's like popping right now. Oh, the for Twisted Metal? No, just in general. like Soccer car? Yeah, it's a like soccer car. Game. You fly your car around and you hit the big-ass soccer ball. Dude, freaking kids these days. They didn't have it like this. We're special. Bro. I think the last big console I, I probably was messing around with when I would play actual video games would be like, a, like Nintendo 64. Cause you had like all that. Yeah. Golden Eye. Golden Eye. Golden Eye. That was our version of Halo. That's our. That's our what? what is yeah, it? that was like our first Call time. of Duty. Yeah, because we could plug in four controllers. That's our Call of Duty. But yeah. we couldn't like play against online. Uh, yeah, you're playing against people you know. So if you didn't have four friends, dog. <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't have four friends, bro. You and that little midget guy, Asian oh, guy on dude. your team. What's that guy? The little guy? The Asian guy. Asian in, guy. And on Golden Eye. The little oh, short Asian guy with the black suit and the black hat. The, the plane, the plane. The, no, he's not that guy. <laughs> oh, the dude, when he threw the hat? He threw the hat. He I forget his hat. name. Yeah. But yeah, I know he's not Anyway, uh, so, but our version <laughs> of Call of Duty now would have been uh, Counter-Strike. Oh, PC. but that was like a PC game. Doom. Doom, with another Doom. first person. Yeah. After that, man, like, because I had what? I had PlayStation 3, but I watched, like, DVDs on that, that's when like girls started coming around. DVD. Yeah, exactly. For so, no. From Treasure X, Island, right there. X, on, Pop -Pop -Pop on that PS3, you been to that bro. One? Which one? Treasure Island. Oh, Pleasure yeah. Island. Treasure Island. Pleasure it's, Island. It's a treasure on for Hawthorne. others. On uh, Hawthorne. Yeah. That's what that was, that place made it cool for to go you in. to go in and it feel like a creeper. Exactly. Like you, <laughs> you go into like the other one. Like do you remember those old school video rental places? Wait, have you been to the one on Rosecrans and Western? The pink one? It smelled I've like, never went in it there. It smelled like bleach. I've always dreamed I've never it. been in there. <laughs> wink wink. Bro, oh, sorry for that. <laughs> sorry for that. I've always driven past it, but I've never been in there. <laughs> I remember I remember going into like the old school like like 
video rental places, not the blockbuster ones, but the ones where they have like the beads where they separate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, oh, yeah, yeah. They got it in the back. Yeah, I remember going into like those, but then still those. I wasn't even old enough to get through the beads, but I was just like, "What did the fucking beads stop you? Sneak in there anyway?" <laughs> he, he slid under. <laughs> he was limboing <laughs> under the beads. <laughs> Army crawl under there. Try not to make a sound. And some uncle was just waiting for you to come through. Right. While while my mom was uh, renting Beverly Hills Ninja for me, I would go in through the beads. <laughs> Like, where is my son? This does not surprise me. You know where your son is, woman. <laughs> <laughs> if I was working there, you know where your son is, lady. Your son is. Ah, forget checking, ahead, boy. Checking out those big ones. <laughs> those are the days. Nasty, dude. Oh, oh, oh nasty. It's made me the man I am today. Oh, shit. No, cheers to that no one. No complaints here. <laughs> Bro, yeah, those are the days. If I say. Oh say, oh say, okay. can you see me? <laughs> out of the PlayStation Five and the new Xbox that's coming out, box Xbox. What would you get? I played Xbox. I don't like it, and it, it just like you know I'm the type of guy that chooses one brand out of the two. It sticks with it. I just roll with it. I get you. I get you. So I'll go with a PlayStation for sure. Right now I have the PS, whatever this one is. The four. I guess right? it's a four. Yeah. I mean it Call looks of Duty. It looks really cool. Call of Duty's so fun, man. Like you get to play with your homies, yeah. You get to play with your homies and talk shit. I'm not that great, but guess what? <laughs> Still play, dog. I show up every day, dog. <laughs> Dude, like, yeah, the last game, yeah, the last really game console I've really played was uh, Nintendo 64. I haven't messed around with like any of the other stuff. You haven't played nothing, bro. Okay, oh, I lied. He's lying. You know what, just because of that, you're going to get a Tupac break real quick. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, no. Ooh, Ooh, Justin Bieber. Like, Bieber just for coming. you, bro. That Damn. Justin Bieber had. Is that what you resorted to? How's Ellen? <laughs> How's Ellen? Tupac's life. Let me see. Get it, get it. Hey, you guys can't see us, but we're getting down. down. You'll see us on YouTube. Too far, too far. So that was like 15 seconds. I didn't own an Xbox, but I'd always play Halo. Yeah, I get that. Me too. Yeah. You know, you would go over your family, friends, or friends, or whatever. Right. And they would know that you couldn't afford it, so they would just like. Exactly. I would would have Halo tournaments. My mom gives me everything. I'd be the charity guy. Can I come over? Are you guys having pizza rolls? Wait, and food? And food. I'll be there. Okay, I'll be there. <laughs> I don't like ice cream. Bro, I remember being so grateful, uh, going to like one of my homies' houses and like we would play video games, and I knew I was allergic to pecans, and my homie's mom was like, "You guys want chocolate chip pecan cookies?" And I'd be like, "Yeah, that'd be great." <laughs> and you knew. And I knew. You're bad, dude. I knew I was allergic to pecans, <laughs> bro. Did you turn into the thing, bro? I ate, I ate like twenty cookies, and I passed out. <laughs> Wait, you, bro? I I swelled up and I passed out. My homie's mom got so scared. She called my mom. And she called 911, and my mom was like, wait, no, 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 just give him Benadryl and let him sleep it off. I ain't got time for that shit. Bro. She was like, give him some rice. She's like, don't let him go to the hospital. Yeah. We can't afford the hospital yeah. right now. Oh, I get it, dude. Just give him some Benadryl and let him sleep it off. Bro, after I passed out, I woke up, like, freaking with a blanket, pillow, and I was like, oh, wow. So this is what it's like, dude. Your mom's G, bro. I was, I was well taken care of by my homie's mom. So dude, shout that's out to my homie's mom. crazy, though. But, like, you knew already. I, I How knew. Were you? Uh, I was, what, 13, 14? And you still did. I still did. We it. still do it. We know and we still do it. Mm-hmm. And then we justify <laughs> it later. Don't trip. I'm, I'm alive. I'm still good. Oh, yeah. That's... <laughs> Can't be doing that shit anymore. You're uh, allergic dude. to pecans. I've been serving you pecans for a minute. Well, I've uh, recently started getting better at it. So, like, uh, I'm not 
allergic to pecans anymore, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I've like slowly built a tolerance for it. I heard a lot of people like, I used to be asthmatic, and what I did, I just started smoking. I just did it. Fight fire with fire. Yeah, right? fight fire with fire. <laughs> Look at me now. Take that, bitch. It should be rolling. <laughs> it's too far. <laughs> Uh, no copyright infringement over no, here. <laughs> Big things coming about through sports of uh, 2020. Yeah. Venturing on the 2021. NBA draft is coming. Draft. Along. I think on the 17th or 18th, one of those days. It's a, They have the mellow ball first round pick. You think so? I think so. I know so. Him. He's a baller. He's been playing overseas. He's been playing everywhere. He's been playing with grown men. Yeah, he said, F college. Yeah. I'm going to do my thing. I'm going to get paid. I mean, it seems like the route to go un until NCAA starts paying their, their students, which I think they should. Yeah. They said uh, 2021, they, or 21, 22, that they might start paying. They should. And they should. You should have pocket money. College. There should be a minimum. Bro. Right? They make so much money in college. Yes, they, they do. Everyone should be getting paid a minimum. Uh, if you get sponsored, you get sponsored more. That's just the way life is. Let's not be yeah. like, uh, you need to finish school, and if you finish school, you get a bonus. Boom. Right? That's how you keep your players. Exactly. You go to the NBA, or you finish here with a degree, plus a boom, chicka, 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 boom, chicka, boom. You're right, dude. Like We could I, be wrong, though, because, you know, people look at it differently. True. But at the same time, like, as a student, you got to have that type of incentive. Because why would you want to stay in college if you're going to make millions anyways? Exactly. So, I think they should. They can, let's just say NCAA can afford it, pretty much. They do make a lot of money. Who do you think is going to get that draft? Who that first draft? I think Lamelo is going to go number one. Who, who, who do you think is going to pick him up? Um, this is, so I made this assumption before uh, the COVID thing. Mm -hmm. And I thought it was Golden State that maybe has the first round pick. But I know they have the most balls in the draft, right? Yeah. Yeah, so, so I would just say if Golden State gets them... I would be smart, pick them up, and maybe somebody else wants them. Because remember, they did the. Uh, you could trade, right? Yeah, you know, he's very uh, that. He's a great asset, you know. I mean, because they already have, they already have Clay, they already have Steph. Maybe they need another big guy. They can trade for another big guy. For sure, they can trade for everything. Uh, this guy's multi-talented, point guard, shooting. You know, what I'm saying he can dunk. He can. He plays right. hard. He's not like the. Uh, I like okay, so Lonzo Ball. I really like Lonzo Ball. I remember you telling me like Yeah, I I'm really like Lonzo Ball. There's too. nothing wrong with him. But the thing is, he was they somebody broke down his jumper and they figured out how to defend him. And you just had to put your hand in one place because he has to bring the ball around. Yeah. So there's he's too much movement. His, uh, jump you shot. know, there's there's basketball players that shoot from here. You know, it's very you just gotta learn that. And you know, uh, he's still a great passer. Yeah. Some of the best passing I've seen. Lonzo, especially within like the past year, I think has probably the best lobs. If with, him, with him and LeBron, and then with him and uh, uh, Zion, uh -huh. they had, like those long distance lobs are clean. That's insane, man. I just think that they should have, the dad should have just stopped at one point because it put too much like negativity aura, oh. that aura on him. See, now he's quiet. Yeah. And now his, his the son coming in, he's making his money, you know. I think that's gonna work. LeVar overdid it, I think. But you can't hate a man for no, it, backing up his children. Like, a, my children gonna son. be the greatest! I, would, I mean, I would too. It's just, yeah, as soon as I figured out if I knew what's best and what's gonna help out my kids, yeah, I would have shut up too. Yeah. I'd be like, oh, okay, do your thing. Yeah, LeVar. LeVar. <laughs> do the thing. I like LeVar. Like, even though I like his character. You know, sometimes I just see people, they, they build a character, and that's who they want to be. There's nothing wrong with that. They, oh, I can't hate on it. They made they made a show on it. They banked on them. So, clothing. Clothing, big baller brand, the TV show, and all that. I Maybe they might sponsor that. us one day. <laughs> hey, brought to you by BBB. <laughs> hey, guys, um, we would like to say... Here's, here's another, another word for our sponsors. sponsors. And we're back. Hello. Thank you to our sponsors yeah, out you. there in podcast and YouTube land. We appreciate y'all. Cheers, mate. This is such a sexy voice. <laughs> we cheers, cheers by the way. We did cheers. 
Ooh. You so know, sometimes when you drink, it goes down the wrong hole. Oh, did, did that one go in the wrong hole? <sighs> so that's what, that's what they feel like. <laughs> that's oh, what shit. she's been telling me the whole time. <laughs> wrong hole, bro. That's because you're in the nose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> she's like her, her nose pig. Oh, man. Oh, you know, burn. it's a... Uh, we haven't shot out a, uh, a liquor in a while because they don't sponsor us. But I will say, Mitcher's Rye Whiskey is quite delightful. It does a job. It gets the job done. It gets me rosy in the cheeks. I know. I, do we have that Asian, <clears throat> Asian glow? I know I'm a, I'm a, I'm a dark Asian. I'm a, I'm a, <laughs> I'm a dark Asian. Wait, is it, am I rosy? You're like The Rock. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> My throat is burnt right now. <laughs> Goodness. I'm like the pebble. Bro, speaking of fighting news. What's that? So officially, Conor McGregor and Dustin Poirier is official on January. Do you really 23rd. want to see that fight? I kind of do. It's a rematch. I don't want to see it. No. no. <laughs> Who would you rather watch? Conor versus Mayweather. I can part and two. Pacquiao. Three man fight. Well, that's that's part of his agenda. Uh, Conor is uh, slated to fight against Pacquiao, as they are in the same management team. That's going to happen, possibly... But Pacquiao's so old now, I don't want to see it. I don't want to see old people fighting because you guys... Okay, besides Randy Couture, <laughs> right? Uh, uh-huh. You guys look old, like, when you fight. Like, when I seen um, Iceman, Chuck Liddell fight, old, yeah. Tito, or T Tito was ready. Iceman was like this. Chuck was a bit rough on that. He didn't even. Chuck was a bit rough. He's like, I'm not going to even try. Uh, I... There is a few exceptions... For example, this weekend when Glover, Teixeira, and uh, what's his name? Uh, shoot. Uh, Glo Glover, okay, long story short, Glover that's 41 years old, 43 years old, I think, won against... Um, he beat him up. Hammer. He beat him up. You know why he beat him up? He, he just manhandled him. He manhandled him. He man. When you turn into a man, you manhandle things. This was a guy that was... A UFC contender that almost beat John Jones and Glover beat him up. So I mean that's that's something for the old guys. Because I feel like being older at some point in life, you just learn moves that just experience. Like uh, as learn. a non-fighter, if you come at me as a 23 year old and you're not trained, yeah, I'm gonna do a move that you've never, you've never seen, seen before. Yeah. Exactly, and it's gonna be the. <laughs> It's gonna be the rock bottom, and then I'm gonna pick you up and put you in the Boston Crab. <laughs> Boston sharpshooter, crab. actually. I'm gonna put him in the sharpshooter. Even and the game, broken back. Oh. You know, it's just those things like that. Like, yeah, the, I, I hear you. Because, like, the way I see it, like, what I know now, my 30 something year old self. Yeah, 30 something. I know. You mean 30. Would beat up a 21 year old self. Easily, I think. For my, sure. My 21-year-old self was so down. I know, that's the thing. <laughs> You're, that, that 18 to like 24, they are, yeah. you can run through a brick wall. I was just like so down. I'm down. I'm so down. I'm down. I'm down. I'm down. I'm down. Yeah. Don't, don't doubt it. Don't doubt it. I probably would have pulled like a nasty maneuver. <laughs> you would have bit some balls. <laughs> <laughs> I would have bit your car on fire. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. <clears throat> So it's like, yeah, that brawn over brains, age over beauty. But even after getting beat up after so many times, because I trust me, I've been, I've had my share. I mean, there's nothing, Some, there's nothing. Those wars. There's nothing like getting a whooping. There isn't. <clears throat> Being humble, oh my goodness. You will learn a lot. And I'm still cocky after it, so I, <laughs> I've been beat. You have to be. Yeah, I've been beat the hell up, man. Because life will beat you up, and you know It'll what? You, you just up. gotta keep on trucking. And, and one day it may not. And one day it might stop. And maybe, yeah. Imagine that. Imagine just like not ever having an issue with anything. You just lived your life, and everything was okay. If it, that'd be nice. No, How not even minor issues. <laughs> everything just went so smooth. How cool would that be? <laughs> not to sure. be bothered. <laughs> Everything just went smooth. That's pretty crazy. That would be nice. What's that like? No, yeah. But that's years and years. I don't think anyone has that kind of life. 
No. You know, maybe a family member may die, and then you got to deal with that. Yeah. You know, things like that. There's always, the life is always, I feel like you're a dartboard. Yeah. And life is always throwing, trying to make its points. Which, what, what can you deal with? What can you Until deal that with? bullseye. This is your daily dose well, of inspiration right here, guys. Yeah, that's us. <laughs> Whatever life hands you, you just got to roll the punches. Yeah. Right? What, what does Rocky say? I don't know. It's not how hard you can hit. Yeah. It's, it's how hard you can get <laughs> hit and get up. <laughs> That's pretty inspirational. Though. It is pretty inspirational. Even though it's not real. It's, it technically, I still think it's real. It's not real, but it's a good way to live life. So, shout out to Rocky. You fictional character. You. Speaking of hard lives, I've been watching this new uh, Netflix show. Go it's on. A, uh, it's called uh, The Queen's Gambit. The Queen's Gambit. Yes, it's about a girl that has lost everything. Okay. She became an orphan. And she found chess. As an escape? Yeah. Because they were feeding her tranquilizers. What the shit? In the orphanage. This is like a way back. So, but anyway. <laughs> I love this. I love it's this like show. like a way back. Like, like. Holy shit. I love this show, man. It's so good. I thought I thought it was a movie, and I watched it, and the the first episode was so long that I, I was like, "What? It's a show? You know, you think it's a movie?" Uh, Queen's Gambit was written by someone that was hella famous too. Like, it's not even uh, a regular director. It was by an actor. Uh, Queen's Gambit. Yeah, it's about a chess prodigy, and she was a female, and she's amazing, and especially when she gets older, I'm so pretty. Oh, is she? Who plays her? Do you know? Somebody pretty. Somebody pretty. She's weird pretty. Weird pretty. Like somebody you look you have to look at all the time. You have to look at And then you're like, oh damn, she's pretty. Okay, so I lied. Uh, he's a liar. I, uh, <laughs> I'm a habitual liar. Uh, the Queen's Gambit was actually written by Walter Tevis. He's famous. I thought he was I thought Queen's Gambit was like written by like Crims Hem Crims Chris Hemsworth or something, like Thor. But I guess I'm wrong. So it's by Walter Tevis. Well, if you're feeling um, Thor, make sure to take some... Act print? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. A little Mike Tyson joke there Mike for you. <laughs> no, but this is like amazing. Dude. Queen's oh, Gambit. I'm going to check it out. It's very nice. So again, this is part of our Netflix movie review. and uh, if, Or show review. Or show review. Is it a season? It's a season. Yeah. But it's played like movies. It's so crazy. So if... If you were to rate this, what would be your Netflix Yelp review? I would say this is a 10. Really? Yeah, this is very high. This is so well written. Things are well done. There's a... And the corniness or like things that are messed up, missed out of place. There's like a minimal amount of it. Because all movies have it. Yeah. Where something slips. I caught them slipping at one point, but it didn't matter. The movie is so good. It kept me focused. Kept me in the game. Was it like a happy go getter tear jerker? No, no, no. It's not like that. It's just like shh, I relate to her. You oh, know what I'm saying? This so it's is like personal. Yeah, personal. I, this I like is personal. Yeah, so you guys gotta watch it, and if you feel it, you feel it. If you don't, well, don't quote us because we're not Cisco and Ebert over here. You know what? You heard it here at Belly Bex Bangers. <laughs> This is our Netflix review, or Angelo's Netflix yeah, review yeah. on The Queen's Gambit. There's, I'm so behind on Netflix. Yeah. There's like so many shows, like uh, what, Forge and Fire. Forge and Fire, I've watched on a regular thing. See, look at that girl. That's the girl from uh, oh, Queen's uh, Gambit. No, the Queen's oh, Gambit. Oh, Queen's Gambit. Oh, she yeah. is pretty. She's There's different so pretty. And speaking of different pretty. Speaking of different pretty, would you rather have a pretty ten to smash that's dead? Like a dead fish? Yeah, like a dead fish. And we're not saying dead as in like... Actual dead. Actual dead. We're saying dead as in... Missionary. Yeah. They're just boring. Boring. Or, or would you have like a six or seven that was legit? That just drains you like a... <laughs> like she can suck a watermelon through a straw? And she's milking the cow. Oh, well, you know what? Okay, um, six and sevens that are experienced are so fun. It's but you'll just, still pick the... You know what, but it's hard because, you know what, for a first timer, you never know until you do. So, as a number 10, first time, I'll always go for it. Give me your song right here. Oh, man, man. 
What happened? Andre 3000. Did you see the uh, Atlanta Hawks jerseys? Did you, oh, no, I haven't. It was they say fit. cast. Oh, for real? Yeah. Okay, okay. That's pretty dope. I mean, because if they are pretty, I can kind of like go in my zone and do my thing. But there's nothing like that six or seven that can just mess you up. They're good. They can just rock your shit, man. And you guys didn't know that was an outcast player's ball. We are not sponsored. We are not sponsored by them. But, you know, shout out to Big Boy and Andre 1000. But, yeah, I mean, it, it's a hard choice. Uh... Would I rather go with a woman that's a six or seven that knows what she's doing or a 10 that just lies there and falls asleep? It's a hit or miss. It's a hit and miss. Um, tens are great just because they are tens, but a six or seven, you can't beat that. I don't know, man. They just know. They just know. In the long run, yeah, that six or seven, I'll, I'll go for. But it's like one of those things where you're just like, oh, what if? Because what if that 10 knows what she's doing? If you get a 10 that knows what she's doing, get her pregnant. You make sure she doesn't have that plan B. You, be... <laughs> you just ruined everything. <laughs> now she's a bitch. <laughs> exactly. You're cool, man. Yeah, Don't ruin so it, man. You, that, if that happens, man, you, you hold on. You hold on tight. But that, I don't know. That's kind of crazy. Shit, sometimes if you're with them and you're stuck, you gotta start doing drugs. <laughs> Fuck, I told you not to do drugs. I gotta this, start drinking. This is the life I need. This I gotta move my chose. I gotta move somewhere where it's legal. <laughs> Oregon. 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 Hey, so what's the rules with that? Well, in Oregon, everything is legal. <laughs> Heroin, everything. Bro. But so there's like this past uh, voting season, Oregon has recently decriminalized. Decriminalized. <laughs> Schmuck. Oregon has decriminalized all drugs, whether it's cocaine, whether it's heroin. If you're caught with a small amount, so you can't be selling this stuff. If you're caught with a small amount, you are either faced with a hundred dollar fine or a rehab assessment. Yeah, don't be fucking with meth, though. There's so many people that, unfortunately, I know that have succumbed to meth. And it sucks. But uh, if you're looking for a place to live where you don't go to jail, at least, it's going to be Oregon. <laughs> well, I just think that, like, um, I think they're trying to go with the Amsterdam approach. Like, because their, their drug use has gone down because it's legal. People do it because it's illegal. Mm. I mean, well, it is fairly recent. At least they're not going to jail for it. Yeah, 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 they'll figure it out. They'll figure out the whole thing. And, you know, to each his own. To each his own. And if you want to do these kind of things, there should be special lands that you do it on. Exactly. There should be designated areas where you can <laughs> do this. Like Methville, so USA. The thing with this, though, and knowing Oregon being in Oregon and visiting that spot, it's they beautiful. have... It is beautiful, yet... Yeah. They have the biggest homeless society, I think. LA and OC right now are pretty deep. They're pretty deep. It's bigger than that? It's, it's, okay, so, as you guys know, downtown LA has Skid Row. Yes. So visiting, bad. So bad. Visiting Portland, imagine that whole city like Skid Row, but just like spread out everywhere. I feel, I feel like... California has a big homeless problem. They do. It's just... We probably have the most, but it's spread out, huh? Oregon has probably the most, but spread out. You think so? I think Because California is long. So we have it is long. San Diego, home, I've seen homeless people everywhere I've gone. I, I think it's just like the concentration of like homeless people in California is within like that skid row. And you like, obviously you'll see it everywhere. But being in Oregon, seeing Oregon... That's have, a lot. Having seen so many like... Everywhere is so discouraging because everyone's like, I'm gonna do some drugs, mom. <laughs> right? And the thing, too, per I guess age range in Oregon, you'll notice more younger drug abusers and homeless people in Oregon than you would in LA. Where, like, I would always drive to downtown LA uh, and see like older homeless people. Where in Oregon, I see people my age and a lot younger 
that are just homeless. How old are you again? Old enough. Old as fuck. Old as fuck. <laughs> but, yeah, it's, it's kind of yeah, crazy. it's crazy, dude. Yeah. I, you know, I need to go up there and see it. Yeah, that's the thing. You have to see it. And, I don't know. It's, it's kind of nuts. The last time I went to Oregon, they have as much food trucks as they do homeless people. And Oregon has, like, the king of food trucks. Yeah. <laughs> and their food trucks are cool. I watched the documentary. Cool. They have, like, really small food trucks, too. Like, yeah. Like, every corner, like a Starbucks, you'll have a corner of food trucks in Oregon like that, which is kind of cool. But I seen one of the food trucks in Oregon, actually, were always handing out peanut butter jelly to the homeless. Mm. You know, as long as you don't bite our customers, we got you. <laughs> so you don't bug them, you don't bite our customers. Here's a sandwich. Chill out. That's a cool sandwich to give out, but how much? It's a lot. A lot of calories, a lot of macros for you to chill out. <laughs> Swole ass bombs out there. <laughs> oh, I got my peanut butter. <clears throat> I need to get my gains on. I got to squat this Tuesday afternoon after my meth session. <laughs> That's probably like a bad drug. Meth is probably the worst. Meth. I, I want to say meth is number one at freaking up lives. And then cocaine. Because there's two different kind of cocaine users. There's crack cocaine users and then there's Yeah. And then there's cocaine. Like, well, and then like the regular cocaine users eventually get messed up. What, but like crack cocaine, you get messed up really quick. And there and then. Yeah, yeah. What did Whitney but Whitney used to said? What she said? She's like, we don't mess with that cheap ass crack cocaine. Yeah. We mess with that pre yeah, cocaine. The pre <laughs> so that lasts a little bit longer. But it's a meth, meth is the same thing no matter if it's cheap or not all the way through. It's like, bro, yeah, it's so horrible. The thing with meth, you're what? You're active on it? Yeah, you're at, you think you can like, you're Superman, you, you think you fix shit, you, you can fix You are out anything. and about. Whereas like heroin, you can tell a heroin addict they're just sleeping on the couch or sleeping on the floor. And then they, <laughs> then they rob. The rob and, yeah. Everybody needs to rob because you ain't got nothing, so how do I come up with more? There's one thing I will respect. It's the hustle oh, of like, a meth head. Of a drug user. Of a drug user. Oh, for sure. Because, like, are you going to go a day without using meth? No. You're, you're going to find it. Hustle. You're going to suck some down. <laughs> you're going to do whatever you need to do to get that high. So that's one respect I will have on them. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> no, true, though. And right? The, the, if they just put that in the right perspective... You imagine, and I believe there'd be a ton people that are just as much hustlers right now eventually become those people, yeah. Because that's they hustle attitude. so hard, they find something they like and they hustle for it. So it's like, ah, dude, right? It's like a bunch of Gary V's out there just trying to, get, trying to chase that eye. I bet you Gary V, if he hits meth one time, it's game over. <laughs> it's game it's over. Sorry, Gary. Game over. <laughs> <laughs> You're about to buy a hell of a meth in like Bro. three days. And exactly. We won't see you no more. Mm -mm. Dunzo. Yeah, man. Hey, you know what, guys? We would like to thank you. We appreciate you guys for following, liking, and subscribing. Thank you for tuning in. Yeah, we appreciate you guys as always. And uh, if you guys can, please like and subscribe us on YouTube. Subscribe us on. Instagram. Instagram. Uh, follow us on Instagram. Yeah, subscribe Spotify, us on Spotify, Anchor, and all that. Uh, whatever. Whatever floats the Bible. Exactly. Cheers. Thank you, guys. Cheers. Let's make a sound on this. Okay. Ooh. Bang, right. bang, boom. Appreciate y'all.